obesity is a polyfactorial, a multifactorial disease. Obesity is truly a disease. It requires medical management for many people. Not everybody. Some people can go to the uh, uh, weight loss joint down the street and do well. They don't need a medical bariatrician to lose weight. But a lot of people are not su successful in losing or keeping their weight off. So what we want to do is, is help you understand the things that go into the bucket that makes you fat. Yes, we're all overweight because we eat more than our body needs. That's the final common pathway. But what takes us to that point where we're eating more than what we should? And I want to talk a little bit about some of those factors today. So let's do that right away. Before I start, one more thing. If you think that going to the gym and working out is going to help you lose weight, maybe. Unlikely. Let's look at a little bit of a, a, a measurement that we take in our patients called total daily energy expenditure. If this bar represents all the calories that we spend all day, this is called TDE, total daily energy expenditure. Some people are shocked when they hear that about 80% of these calories are spent by doing nothing every day. They are burned by simply laying in bed all day long. Now you can look this up. This is not just my wisdom. This is true scientific knowledge. This is called BMR, basal metabolic rate. And it represents about 80% of all the calories that we spend a day. The other, maybe 5%, is spent digesting our food. Which brings me to another radical point that isn't so radical because it's been understood for years, but most patients don't understand it. If you're going to lose weight, you got to eat. You got to eat two, three, four, five times a day. The more, the merrier. The more often, the merrier. Not the more calories, but the more often, the less time between meals, the better, because it keeps this engine running. And so maybe we can squeeze a little more out of that five percent. The other ten to fifteen percent, whatever is left over. It's what we burn through activity. Now, I didn't say going to the gym or running or lifting weights. I said activity. And activity can be divided into activities of daily living and exercise. Activities of daily living are simply getting up, brushing your teeth, going to the car, going to work, preparing your kids for school, going to school, doing whatever it is you do, just living. Those are activities of daily living. Exercise takes up the rest. How much? Well, I don't know. It depends on how much exercise you do. But maybe this impacts less than 5% of the calories that you're burning. So if you think you're going to go to the gym, burn a million calories, and lose weight that way, that way it's probably not going to happen. Now, there are exceptions. I personally, in the summer, I lose 5, 6 pounds just by going out, mowing the lawn, painting the walls, doing the things that usually in the wintertime I don't do, even though we live in South Florida and it's not cold here in the winter, and it, like it is up north, and we don't have snow, the days are shorter. I get home, it's dark, and by 6.30 p.m., and I don't mow the lawn, and I don't go outside, and I don't ride my bike, and I don't... So I put on a, a few extra pounds. But five, six, eight pounds is all I'm going to get out of that. And people who are overweight are usually overweight by more than 20 or 30 pounds, not just five or six pounds. They usually don't come to me because they're five or six pounds overweight. They generally know how to manage that on their own. So... Let's dispel the notion that we're going to go to the gym to lose weight. Forget it. It doesn't work. If you were a university athlete and you're burning a billion calories a day, well, that's a different thing. If you're a professional athlete, if you're an Olympic athlete, most of us aren't any of those things. We're just fat. So let's not rest on that as the way to lose weight. Now, that aside, exercise has many, many other benefits. It helps cardiovascular conditioning. It increases aerobic capacity. It increases endurance, flexibility, a sense of stamina. People who exercise live longer. Fabby. All great. But it's not working.